All right, what's going on everyone? It's your boy King J. So we've got the Steam Deck, we've got a controller, and we have a Type-C adapter, 11 in one, as you can see, this is 11 in one. So the reason why I'm showing you lot this is because I wanted to kind of show you lot how this works. So obviously we don't have the Steam Deck, well the Steam Dock, should I say, we don't have that. So we're gonna bust open this, and see what's good. We're gonna go and play. I don't know what game to play on there. Well, I'll, I'll decide it there and then. But yeah, this is uh, just for anyone that wants to know. Here we go. For anyone that wants to know, get this. Loads of different connections, you know. It's meant to have. Oh yes, it has the Ethernet cable as well. So say for example, if you want to play a game online, that should be sick. We should maybe try to play a fighting game online and see. Who knows? But yeah. Getting back into what we're saying. So what we do is we plug this part here, we plug this part into this. Right? Just turned off. Don't know if it's trying to see what's going on on it. But for some reason it just turned off, I don't know. see anything yeah, that's strange I can see some light is inside this but yeah look oh when I take it out it does it works very strange but then when I plug it in it doesn't work hmm yeah, that is pretty strange Alright, so let me try and figure this out. So, so we're gonna go into the settings and see if we can somehow set it so that it doesn't jump on to whatever I plug in. So maybe that's what it is, it's probably trying to find something on my USB C device. It's just not reading at all. I mean, we could try Bluetooth with controller. I mean, we haven't tried that yet, so let's try the Bluetooth with the device. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the the usual uh, turn the PS4 pad on. As you can see it's blinking. So this has Bluetooth, so we're gonna see if that works. We move it more closer so you look and see. Okay, cool. It's still not picking up the device though. Oh, it's picking up wireless controller. So there we go. We got. So it's synced to the wireless controller, as you can see, look. It's actually synced. So the wireless controller is here. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go and, oh, we can actually control the Steam Deck <laughs> with the controller, man. Oh man, this is quite sick. Okay, so I can literally just, let's go and play King of Fighters. Do I have to do an update or do an update? But yeah, like I said, like you can actually control it with this. We're still going to figure out what's going on with this because this was the main thing. We're going to try and see if we can connect this and see if it can come out with this and then we can kind of plug controllers and stuff into it, but it just doesn't seem to work. It's like it gives a blank screen, which is quite whack. Um, I'm going to try it right now again. Yeah, the screen just goes off. I feel like there is a way around it. There has to be. So while that's updating, we're going to find out because um, I'm interested to know, man. I feel like there's definitely something here that we can figure out. Uh, so we have come out of this. Let's go into settings. Notifications, print notifications. There's not nothing to do. I have display. Enable adaptive brightness. I just want it on normal. Yeah, there is really anything that. 
Yeah, I'm unsure. I'm really unsure. I don't know. I don't have the answer for it, to be honest. I'm going to have a look online and see if there's anything that kind of showcases why that happened because it, that ain't really meant to happen. I'm unsure. But with what I'm going to do is, seeing as we've got the pad connected, we're going to just boot up. Well, let's boot up Tekken because it's taking quite long. But yeah, this, this seems to not work. It just makes it go off. It's quite strange. Quite strange. External controller has got this display part saying about the external controller. And if you look and see. Right, there we go. Yeah, it's quite strange. So we're going to play with the pad. Uh, it's going to be crazy. I've never really noticed it to do that. Like where the screen goes black. We've got the performance as well. I wanna, I'm going to probably zoom it in a bit more closer so you look and see. Can I zoom it in closer? Yeah, just about it. Change the ISO down because I know that the game is uh, quite bright. And I don't want it to be. Let's have a look there. Okay, you look and see. All right, cool. So as you can see, we've got the performance here and everything like that. GPU, CPU, VRAM, RAM, battery, you know. It's pretty cool. So look, I know I showed you a lot before how it looked with, you know, me playing on the, the actual scene there, but like, have a look at it on the control pad. Like, this is great. Like, this is great. I still want to know what's going on with this because, you know, it would be great to have four controllers on here, but for some reason, this is not working. Like, I, I am trying to figure out what the reason is. Maybe because there's a HDMI here. That's what I'm thinking. Alright, so maybe... The other settings save the same way as how it was before because I don't know if it's taking the settings from my actual gaming PC. Oh, it is. So maybe let's try something like let's just try full screen. Okay, let's just try full screen and see what it's like. So I'm gonna go to battle again. Oh, but then you have this underlaying part. So there are some types of glitches that you can find in the games, and then it's got these black borders. Can you see it? Like these black borders behind Kazuya. It's right here, as you can see. Um, it's quite strange. It's quite strange. Right. right we're looking at their response see how much god fits i can do let's see if i let's do let's try and do tennessee one two three yeah it's like it's i think it's pretty cool Like I'm trying to get used to like the movement on here as well. Like I still feel like it could be it could, like it's it's playable. It's not like oh like it's not playable. It's, like on the pad, it's even great. Like I think it's better because I don't these buttons here they're so 
round and kind of bulky on the setup. That I'd rather prefer having these kind of like flat type of buttons. These ones are kind of like rounded off and stuff. So, yeah, I don't know. Like you can notice like there's sometimes a bit, like a tad bit of slowdown. But I've seen in some people's videos that, oh yeah, it's not playable now. And I'm like, nah, you could, you could play this. You just have to get used to like, just the, the speed of it. I don't expect it to be like any like a like a beefy PC or anything like that. And if I was to compare it to like PS4, obviously PS4 is just gonna be better. That's a designated console. This is kind of more or less like a handheld pocket PC, and it's starting to get a bit hot. It's starting to get a bit hot. So you have on here. You have a thing that says performance, so you can see what performance you can you can choose different performances. So like whether you want to take it to the this this just the sixty frames and that's it. Then you can see firm that frame rate limit and stuff. So yeah, that's cool. But yeah, this is me trying it out on pad. Uh, we won't be able to try arcade stick because this does not work. So I'm assuming that there might be another dock that does work. Um, yeah, I have to let you look. No, I'm unsure. I'm unsure at a minute what we're gonna do in terms of that because I definitely did want to show you a lot more about the. Um, I was just trying to do arcade stick, but this does not work. Like no matter what I do, like maybe if I try to plug it the other way, yeah, it just shuts off the Steam Deck. Which is strange. Yeah, it just shuts off the Steam Deck. I, don't, I, I, I have no idea. But if I do it this way, maybe. Yeah, it just shuts it off. Shuts off the whole display. So, I just, yeah, I don't have an answer for it. Maybe I could turn it off. You know, turn it on with it, maybe, possibly. Okay, I heard the sound. Yeah, it still doesn't show it. Like, it just doesn't show it. The display just goes. So, yeah, it's a bit of a weird one, but we're going to try and figure it out. And I will be doing more videos like this just to update you and let you know like you know what can you do on the steam deck you know because it's sad that we were able to show you the arcade stick but this is the best that we can do and yeah hope you lot appreciate it remember to subscribe and we will do a playlist where you can see the videos as well this is me trying out the steam deck more videos to come take it easy everyone peace